Hello team and welcome to today's Excel video where I will be covering how to format slicer buttons. As you can see from the examples here, you have a lot of flexibility with slicer button formatting, including adding a gradient fill, changing colors, adding additional columns, and adjusting the height of the buttons themselves. Let's jump in and take a look. To begin, let's refresh your memory on how to insert a slicer button. With my candy store sales data formatted as a table on the table design tab, you can select insert slicer and for this first example we'll insert a slicer for candy type with our slicer inserted you can see it's super easy to filter by different candy types simply by clicking these buttons to begin with some formatting options in the top left section of the slicer tab you can see slicer settings opening up this dialog box will allow you to change the name of your slicer button you can also choose whether or not to display the header at the top of the slicer buttons. For this example, I'll uncheck that box. And notice there are some other options below for sorting and filtering. For example, I could sort the candy names in descending order. I could also hide items when no data is present. After removing that header, I'll just click OK and you see the header has now been removed. In the middle of the slicer tab, you'll see you have an option for slicer styles. If I expand this tab, you'll see there's a few different predefined options for light and dark, as well as my custom options I've created up at the very top. If I wanna change the slicer buttons to one of the predefined options, I can select them and you'll see it is updated. However, if I wanna create my own style, again, from that dropdown, I can select new slicer style, in order to easily locate the template you're about to make, you can name it at the very top. Then you have some options about which slicer element you'd like to format. For this example, I'll just select whole slicer and then click format. On the fill tab for this example, we'll give it a dark blue color, but do take note you have some other options as well. For example, if you go to fill effects, you see you can choose from a variety of gradient options as well as some other choices. Here, I'll click cancel. On the border tab, I'll add a thick black border around the outline. Then finally on the font tab, you have some additional great options as well. You can change the font itself, you can change the font style, and change the size. So I'll select a font 10 size. For the color, since I have that dark blue background, I'll select white and click OK. After I click OK again, you'll see if I open up the Slicer Styles drop down, I can find my custom template right here, Career Solutions, and apply it to my slicer buttons. For a last example, I've now created a set of slicer buttons for the location or state for each of these candy stores, but I'd like to place these slicer buttons above my table. In order to do that, we'll head to the button section of the slicer tab, and I'm gonna change this to be three columns. I can also then adjust the height to be a lot smaller, and we can also reduce the button width. Just to save some extra space, I'll also remove the header from the slicer buttons, and now I can place it above my table. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.